I'm Dana and we've reached that time of year where you see lots of like YouTubers and little influencer people like myself doing little autumn resets and we're doing that but we're doing an extreme real version of it because winter went into hospital with complications from a recent surgery on like Friday night and I'm not gonna go into it because like it's not it's not me, it's not my shit, it's not my experience. That's for them to share if they want to. And um, I know a bunch of you guys like vaguely know them. So it is a case of like, they'll be all right. You know, like it's not super, super serious, but it's it's been serious enough that I've just let everything go. I've just not done shit. I haven't, luckily, like I haven't eaten. So I haven't got dishes, you know, bits like that. But like, there's just bits fucking everywhere on the floor. I need to hoover, I need to mop. I did already change the bin, so go me. I do have a few dishes I need to do actually, there's not that many. And Winter's a lovely cat lady, because like, I, I live with Winter now. <laughs> it's great, I move in and people just start dropping, it's fantastic. So I've, I've been looking after Layla best I can, but she's quite a nervous little cat and she's very attached to Winter. So we've had some lovely, nervous diarrhea across winter's bed that i'm gonna have to obviously wash and change because there's just shit in the house i'll give that like my life usually isn't in a position of like there is shit just covering bits of the house but i also my house never looks as nice as the people's that are doing the fucking autumn reset when they have their before pictures you know like that's better than i'm looking a lot of the time and if i'm watching them and feeling bad then i figure other people probably are as well so maybe we can just sort a little thing here I also, oh, I just have so many little bits I need to do. So what we're gonna do is start actually doing them and I'll show you. And I might even do a little voiceover if I don't know yet. I'm, I'm hoping so, I'm, that's the plan. Is we'll do a little voiceover with it to let you know what I'm doing and just have a little chat. And then I'll have a nice clean tidy house to live in for a bit and winter I'll have a nice clean tidy house to come back to. And it'll all be fab and brilliant and lovely. Let's go. So as you can imagine, for quite obvious reasons, I started by having the super glamorous time scraping shit off of bed sheets and then washing them. But like, obviously, when there's just literal feces sat open in your house, the first goal is to remove that. So I did that and suddenly there wasn't any shit around the house anymore. So that was lovely. And you get to see Layla. I didn't even think of that. She sat with me currently and she's just being the sweetest little baby girl. She's so cute, guys. It makes it... I mean, I wasn't going to be mad at her anyway, but it makes it especially hard to be mad at her when it's a case of, like, she did not mean to and she's so cute. And then I went and scooped her to the litter tray so there was well and truly no feces left lying around the house because this is a glamorous and beautiful household. It's only beautiful because of Layla and Otis, to be fair. Look how sweet he is. And I've gotten a new routine with him where I scoop his litter tray and then I like tidy around the rest of my room while he forces out some tiny, tiny bit of piss. And then I scoop that and actually have a clean tray for the day. It's... People don't talk about the, these sides of cat ownership and I kind of get why, but I'm also like... You know, especially when like celebrities and influencers and whatever have hairless cats, because I've known a few people to have hairless cats and I've always been like, oh my god, they're amazing, I want one. And the people have always been like, no, you don't. They leave like sphincter marks around the house. They're all oily and greasy and sweaty. Like, sure, they look great, but there's so much care to them. And I'm like, there's no way that celebrities have those cats are doing that. And also, how comes when you see influencers' houses and when they're like, I need to clean my house, then they're like, and now I'm wiping off the sphincter marks from my glass desk? Like, there would be. There would be. But I don't have to worry about that, so at least we've got that going for me. <laughs> Last thing I need, sphincter marks on top of everything else. I just... It's only Tuesday, and from, like, Saturday through now feels like it lasted a month. I'm like, how is it the 5th of no I both don't understand how it's already November. Like, I swear to God, it was October 28th, like, yesterday. But also just, like, how has it been both, like, so much time and no time at all? I, 
I, I really don't understand or like the passage of time, to be completely honest with you. But yeah, I, um, I'd had like a few creative projects that I'd started up before everything went to shit because I thought I was going to have time for things like that now. Uh, no. So I tidied those away and just sort of, like, I just reset my bedroom. I just sorted my room. And then downstairs, I was like, I've, I've, done, these, I've done these clips out of order. I apologise. So I didn't do things in this order, but these are all the things that I did. So Layla's got the, uh, the self-cleaning tray because obviously like winter can't be fucking scooping it every day. So that does it for them. And we're going to be able to get rid of it now because I already do scoop every day so it makes no difference to me if I come down and do an extra tray but it uses like th this is the thing this is one of those like disability tax things because obviously that's that's the only solution winter has in order to be able to like keep their cat actually clean and healthy and happy I've also measured that space because I want to get one of those big stainless steel like open trays it'll be way better I think but you know like I already have my own opinions on these machines I don't think they're the best thing out there I don't think that anyone who can just otherwise scoop should be using one of these quite frankly I don't think they're clean enough for cats if you're disabled and that's the best you can do in order to have your pet then like, fucking go for it I'm not going to shade anyone for it keep your cats as clean as you can with what you've got with what you can do you know but it's also a thing of like th that's where the disability tax thing comes in because in order to have that like you probably like obviously some people are just like oh my god I'm so busy but like for the I, I wouldn't like, most people I've known that have had these kinds of things it's been because they're fucking disabled and the fucking litter in them I don't know why I'm swearing so much in this video I'm sorry it's just I don't have an awful lot of brain power so I start just saying the f-bomb instead of having to form actual words but the litter that's for it is like 35 pound a bag or something ridiculous ridiculous like we are talking like the giant bag of cat litter that you saw me setting up there so that they like, i did scoop the like self-scooping tray but i can't find any more litter for it i think it's meant to be coming on thursday it's showing up at some point i'll actually properly change it but i wanted to have like a properly clean tray so i put that one with my litter in it that i use and then also like scooped the self-scooping tray so that it's at least somewhat clean if she wants to use that one but she has an actually clean tray and a mostly clean tray but, like, the fact that you're spending that much fucking money on litter when, like, I literally, that massive bag that you just saw me use, I think I paid £25 for, £24, something like that, which still isn't the cheapest thing in the world, but it is genuinely more than, like, ten times the amount of litter, like, more than ten times the amount for £10 less, you know? And it's just such, like, a gross little disability tax when they're like, this is the only litter you can use for this machine, and it's like, and you're gonna, like, upcharge it and make it really spenny absolute bollocks but yeah I then moved on to the kitchen and I got lucky this time because I never know when I'm like going through stuff I don't know if it's going to be one of those things where I get home and I'm like I actually need to eat four meals to get over the fact that I've had a day or if it's going to be the kind of thing where I'm like I don't have the energy to have a single meal and neither of them are the best option but I do believe that best is, fed is best and all that kind of thing. So like eating something is better than eating nothing, even if it is four meals. But I just haven't been eating anything, really. I've been trying. I've had the odd thing. I've had like a bowl of rice, a bit of that. But I, I haven't been doing well with it. But the silver lining is that it means that I didn't have very many dishes. And the dishes that I did have, it's all been like microwave and like fast food. Not literal like takeout, like just like quick stuff to make, you know? Like I will throw a wrap into a frying pan with a bit of cheese and let it melt and be like, boom, quesadilla, this is delicious. So it it works. I've, I'm doing my best. And it means I don't have too many dishes to do. Because honestly, if I did, they probably wouldn't get done. It's, I think the biggest cultural difference I've experienced yet with winter is that they don't have or want a washing up bowl. I really, really, really want a washing up bowl. I don't like that we haven't got a washing up bowl. I feel like everything is wrong when I do the dishes. I need a washing up bowl. And when I said about it, winter was like, what's a washing up bowl? What does that mean? I was like, it's your fucking washing up bowl. It's the bowl you do your washing up in. It's a washing up bowl. Like, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to explain a washing up bowl besides the fact that it's a washing up bowl. And they didn't have a clue. They don't use those in America. And they were like, we sterilize the sinks. We just keep it clean. I was like, no, I also clean my fucking sink. Like, I still think things need to be clean even if you have a washing up bowl. I just always have had a washing up bowl. <laughs> I then also cleaned the uh, water filter because I noticed that it wasn't running and I assumed that it was 
because it was dirty, I had something in it. But it turns out we just got some sort of faulty one because I had to replace the last one because their last housemate was meant to clean it and just didn't bother. So it was absolutely filthy when I found it and it just kept spitting out bits and it was super fucking gross. So we got rid of that and got a new one. And then that one just conked out and stopped working. So we're gonna have to return that and get yet another one. Because genuinely, they charge, like, companies, like, charge so much money for these cat products. This is such a cat-heavy video. I'm just really mad about it. Like, companies will charge so much for cat products that barely fucking work or are really faulty or just, like, generally aren't actually safe to be around cats. And it's crazy to me because people will go out of their way and spend all of this money thinking they're doing the best thing for their animal and trying to do the best they can for their pet when it's not. And like, I'm mad about it because I've fallen victim to it far too many times when I think I'm buying out just like the best toys or the best food or the best treats. And it turns out they're actually not all that good for them. And I've just been like bamboozled by another company that wants my cash. But that's my rant on capitalism for the day. I just had to carry on cleaning my house. And it's one of those things where I, this is the first time that I've like really felt like happy and properly comfortable and fully settled in a house because like I had like a brief period with the housemate I had before last where like we were best friends and everything was so great but it lasted like two and a half months you know like it was so fucking brief and then everything was shit again and then with my last housemate we moved in and, like it was like just fucking immediately cockroaches and rats and horrible neighbours and just an absolute nightmare and like growing up I never had the best experience going on with my family and stuff so it's, it's well and truly the first time in my life that I've had this like I feel like I have a home that I'm cleaning, you know? It doesn't feel like I'm cleaning up after or for someone else. It massively feels like this is my little home and I want it to be all nice and clean for me to hang out in. I also, like, the hoover didn't work properly for, like, two minutes. I also, I filmed that shot for so long and it looked so good. And then when I actually checked it, I had turned the camera the wrong way around and you were just staring at the ceiling and didn't see my super cool shot. So while I was leaving the floor to dry after mopping, I hoovered the stairs and I absolutely hate hoovering. I, see, I, I had the thought while I was hoovering, I was like, oh, this hoover's shit. Like I know Winter said it's really good, but I, I don't like this hoover. And then when I've thought about it now, I say that about like every hoover I've ever used. I'm always like, oh, this hoover like barely works. It doesn't do the job at all, it's shit. And I think maybe I'm just not very good at hoovering. So my last thing was just to put my clothes away and I did think I was gonna film it but I ran out of memory and it just stopped filming so you don't get to see anything else pretty much. So that's the end of that. That was my little reset. My house is clean and tidy. I'm feeling good. I hope you are too. You can follow me. Oh my God, subscribe here, like the video, follow me over on Instagram or TikTok if you want to see more regular content. I post here on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. If you want to see the videos early, you can follow me on Patreon. And if you would like to donate to me monetarily just for funsies, you can do that over on Kofi, but there is no pressure, you don't have to. It's whatever you wanna do, whoever you are and wherever you are. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, day, afternoon, week, month, year. And I will see you again, hopefully, in a couple of days.